Territory Matangi's open sanctuary helps to ensure the survival of many rare and endangered plant and animal species. Well, until about the 1850s, Territory Matangi Island was inhabited by various Maori tribes. After 1850, the government leased it out for farming, and it was farmed right through to about 1970, 1971, when the lease expired. The project was a 10-year project, that is, was to plant the island. But um, when the planting was finished, of course, we carried on working on the island. And we're on the island about 25, 26 years. In the process, the island's changed considerably, of course. And it was certainly a great change from being a lighthouse keeper to being a conservation officer, I can tell you that. And translocation is a key step into achieving this conservation. Translocations is a very important part of the whole project. The original management plan um, called for planting of the island, of course, and as food and um, habitat come available, the introduction of rare and native, native birds was the, the answer. I was a lighthouse keeper originally there, and the lighthouse went automatic, and I was offered the job of running the nursery there, had a retraining program in nursery work with the Lands and Survey to, uh, Nursery in Taupo and started the project up there with the planting of the trees, growing of the trees, collecting of the seed and doing the original planting on the island. Translocation is when you move a species from a donor site to another site usually where the species originally occurred, but has disappeared because of predators, loss of habitat or whatever. If you're putting them back into that area, usually that habitat has been restored, predators removed, and then you can try and put those same species back into that area. It's become increasingly important to establish a robust population, and genetics play an important part of that. You have to have enough founder birds or reptiles. And also in the case of Tiri, where we're often using our birds and hopefully in the future reptiles to go elsewhere, you want to make sure that your birds, etc., are not inbred and that you've got a really healthy population there. And at least then if some new disease comes into a population, some of those birds are going to survive where if you have them all with a very narrow base, that could be enough to knock that population out. We've translocated 12 bird species onto Tiri and 11 of those have been successful. We've also had two Atara brought to Tiri, Tiri Matangi Island, and Duvacel geckos and shore skinks, which is pretty exciting because we're trying to bring in a lot of the species who would originally have been here on the island. The first bird that was introduced while I was there was a North Island saddleback and they came from Cuvier Island. We had 26 birds introduced. Of those 26 birds, there were 12 adult birds, that's six pair, and the rest were juveniles. The Wildlife Service in those days transferred them round from Ireland to some of the islands in the Hauriki Gulf, and um, Turi was one of those islands that was um, recommended. They've bred very, very well. In fact, when they first arrived on the island, they bred at about three to four times the normal rate for the first two years. And as the habitat got full, food got a little bit shorter, so they regulated their own nesting programs. But they are a dominant bird on the island, and most probably the prettiest, oh, I wouldn't say the prettiest bird, but the nicest bird on the island. Yes, very interesting, lovely bird. It's very important that we do have a, with our translocations, a very diverse um, range, not only birds, of course, but insects, lizards, and a whole host of other uh, um, invertebrates as well. Translocation is a twofold relationship where endangered species are translocated to and from the island. Invertebrates, for example, are a key player in ecosystems, and the current status of Wetapunga has become critical, which is why Butterfly Creek will take part in the Translocation Initiative, making Turuturi Matangi a primary candidate for their new home. 
Okay, what we're going to show you is one of the wetter um, that we've uh, got here. And this is a third instar nymph, so she's about three months old. I say she, but it's hopeful. We're not quite sure what the sex is at this stage. And I'll just get the torch so you can get a, a better view of her. The idea was we want to translocate about 50 per island. So the idea is to raise a large number of them so that we've got that um, uh, facility. And we're hoping we'll have, still have that number by the time translocation takes place. And we want to release a large number so that there's at least some of them that are going to survive on the island. Because <laughs> it's a bit of an ask for them. <laughs>
Tewitiri Matangi Island for me is a very special island. It's so nice to be involved with the project here. We're actually trying to restore some of New Zealand's very special birds. I think it's a great privilege to be allowed to come here. These efforts extend far beyond just in protecting the major environment from here. And uh, one of the beauties of Tiri is that it's been so successful here that we've got saturated populations of birds so that if they weren't translocated they'd just probably die through competition. And so Tiri Tiri Matangi's open sanctuary helps enable successful translocations like these that uphold New Zealand's conservation.